Why is the Doomer relatable? This may seem like a very obvious question, but the truth is shocking. To start, we must discern between two types of relatability. One is like a mirror, and the other is like a statue. When we not only relate, but identify with content, that is like relating to a statue. Anyone who has gone to a museum will see many people, often children, will pose like a statue. They relate in that they can take on that pose as well. But it is not a permanent state. This is the role of the Doomer and every other Oomer. They are used not to express fleeting emotions, but to establish a stock of human archetypes. The problem is that these are not like the archetypes of tragic theater or the tarot. They are built upon inverted, digital misrepresentations of life. When we relate to content that depicts an emotion or an experience we have felt, it is like looking in a mirror. The content is a reflection of our lived experience. This is the role that Rage Comics had in the 2010s. Everyone could utilize a palette of emotional images to depict a lived experience. One has felt a rage face, but you have never identified with a rage face. Many memes laugh at how similar rage faces are to Umers, but it is clear that they function differently as vectors of relatability. What, then, is the danger of identifying with the Doomer? When we identify with a statue for too long, we become paralyzed. The Doomer, like every statue, expresses something relatable. The moments depicted in sculpture are essentially fleeting. This is why giving them a permanent physical form is such an honor. But no man expects to live his life as a statue. Life is music. It is always flowing and changing. It can't be understood through a prepackaged worldview and certainly not through stock characters. This is why an over-reliance on Umer memes is mocked so much. It is obvious how far from reality the people who engage in these memes are. This is the source of, Jesse, what the f*** are you talking about? In my previous videos on the Doomer, I have utilized the relatability of the form as a way to illustrate the dynamics at play behind the legitimate misery and suffering of those who identify with the Doomer. I have, and I am trying to provide a way to crumble that plaster and marble, to do away with these extremely effective mimetic identities. Mimetic identities are information hazards that function like a basilisk. When you meet the eyes of this meme, you are made into a rigid statue, saying, ha ha, that's so me. Me. Mood. Myers-Briggs types, astrology, Harry Potter houses, political affiliations, and Umer memes all serve as a way to avoid the nuance and infinite individuality of humanity. That is when you identify strongly with these categories. When you look at them as a mirror something that can help you illuminate your own life through greater knowledge. You are free to keep dancing. So to all those who identify with static images, remember, memes matter.